Okay, welcome back. This is going to finish up our sawhorse that we started in the other video, and we're going to go ahead and complete this. So, again, it's okay to have this dimension on the bottom. If it doesn't read two feet, it's almost close to two feet because that's a derived dimension. That's okay. We can adjust our resolution in this if we wanted to, but I think that's a little bit beyond the scope of this class. So let's continue on. We're going to draw the, the front view now. So we're going to go off the dimension layer, go to the A walls layer, and go to our line. And what we want to do is we want to project a line that's uh, to the very top of this one, and we're going to draw that down to the very bottom of that one, or you can just type in 8 inches for that. So that's one line. The next line is going to go over 4 feet 4 inches. So remember how we did that with the doghouse? 4 feet and then 4 double quotes, 4 single quote, 4 double quote, enter. And then we're going to finish the, the end of that later and not necessarily make this a... Um, a full rectangle, at least not right now. And then we're going to draw this other uh, line. So we're going to use this as our uh, as our reference for that line. We're going to drag that out a little bit. And again, this is just reference geometry that we're going to be using. And what we want is a line that goes down from that. Let's say from this endpoint down, and that goes down all the way down to the bottom and down here. So what we're using is a little bit of uh, uh, orthographic projection because we know the leg is going to be the same distance that that leg is. It's going to start up here where that one inch line is from the top, and so that's going to represent where our leg is going to be. So this is one edge of the leg, the outside edge of the leg, as we're looking at in the front view. We're going to take that and we're going to move that over. And it says on the website it should be moved over about two inches, so we're going to type in two, and then enter. And that's where that leg goes. So we can take this reference geometry line and actually use that and just move this over here. Or we can go ahead and delete it, because we don't really need it right now. But we know that leg is 4 inches wide, so let's go ahead and finish that. This is going to be 4 inches, so just type in 4, drag it down, pick up the end point down there, and then finish that line as we speak. This line goes in here at 2 inches, or you can just use the, uh, the geometry that's already there. So let's go ahead and take this and we're going to mirror to the other side and then we're going to complete the front view of that sawhorse. So remember the mirror command? We're going to pick up the midpoint of this line, drag it up or down, left click, right click, enter, it's all set. We're also going to mirror this too and this. We could have done that at the same time but we're going to do it this time too. So right click, enter, and then at the very end we're going to complete this line across the bottom and then put our dimensions. So we're going to pick up that line from the left-hand side, get our apparent intersection object snack that you see, and then drag that over. All right, let's finish this. We have a couple of different dimensions we need to put on here. We have a linear dimension on our side over here, which is going to be our four-inch dimension. If you want to add additional text to that, you can do that. Again, you click on that text, scroll down here to the text override, remember the less than or less than and greater than the symbol brackets. We're going to click on that, do spacebar and type in typical. Make sure our cap locks are on. Click in here and it'll put that in place. We have a dimension across the top that needs to be put in. We have that one inch dimension we need to put in. And you also want to make sure your dimension lines go all the way to the end. You don't cover your object line, so pull that out. And this isn't as readable as it could be if we pull it out just a little bit more. We also have a 2-inch dimension over here. Now let's take that 2 and put it on the other side. You simply do that by dragging the text. And then dragging it off to the other side. So that looks pretty good to me. We could do the same thing to the other side. Then we go to our A-size layout, and it really doesn't quite fit, but I think we can probably get our left view and our front view together just a little bit closer, and I think that'll work. Let's go ahead and move that. We're going to highlight that, go to the Move command, move this over, and if we go back to our A-size layout, that looks like it's in pretty good shape. Remember to update your title block and you should be done.